Welcome to Dr. Jester Rants, and I'm gonna rant about this with some variety, because after all, I've been talking about Sweet Baby Ink the entire week. I've, maybe it's a, a little bit of variety, a bit of diversity, don't you think? Right, so let's see. The Gamer, diversity is not your enemy in a LA live service world. Studios aren't forced to add diversity, they are forced to add battle passes and endless grind leading to the worst games and cheap demographic appeal. Right, if this is the first time you're here... Oh, we are talking about Sweet Baby Ink. Yeah, well, you thought this video was going to be any different, right? <laughs> no, it's about Sweet Baby Ink. Possibly it's already available in the title. I still haven't thought about it, but I think it's going to be involving the word Sweet Baby Ink. Hmm. Hmm, I thought about it right now. Maybe, maybe, maybe this one will work, maybe. But anyway, let's continue. Congratulations on your well-curated internet experience. Uh, there will be a time when I didn't, I didn't want to be aware or I... No, you know what? It would have been good if I wasn't aware of the existence of the website The Gamer or Kotaku or Polygon. It would have been a good experience. I think maybe, maybe the first time I became aware of how bad Kotaku was was when they actually shared an article with um, with them praising North Korea back in early 2010s or earlier, possibly something thereabouts. That's how bad it is. Anyway, here is what the idiot. Uh, let me put it this way. This one is a well-known idiot. Said, A mine is clearly in dire need of pruning. As it is all I ever heard about this week. Yeah, I have a feeling this is all I'm gonna hear too. Because after all, the Sweet Baby Ink decided to do the trace on the facts. And ended up blowing up on their faces. Now more people than ever know about their shenanigans. And there are some devs that uh, consulted on them. I think it's Hyper Light Drift or something like that. Don't quote me on the name of the game. In which they consulted with them and apparently they haven't had any contact with them for over a year. So they asked the Sweet Baby Inc. to take their logo or the name of their game out of their website. But, but I'm sorry. Sure, you haven't had a contact with them in over a year. You possibly haven't talked to them in over two years or maybe some other company three years. But if they actually wrote your script, consulted on your script, created or advised on character creation, that doesn't matter. Your game has already been tainted by the sweet, sweet kiss of death of Sweet Baby Inc. Why? Because let's take a look at uh, Suicide Squad. That one is not doing that well. Not even one tiny little bit. Let's take a look at another one. Alan Woke 2. Yeah, they still haven't made their money back yet. Oh, let's try the Shadow Gambit. Yeah, the studio went under. All right. Maybe let's, let's try Saints Row. Oh, wait. Volition. Yeah, the studio went under. So, basically, maybe Rocksteady will be going under too sometime soon. That'll be an interesting thing to say. Anyway, continuing. In short, Sweet Baby Inc. is a narrative consultancy firm. It means if, develop if developers are stuck on a narrative hitch, not quite. They are a narrative consultant or um, consultancy firm in which they specialize in actually giving you woke advice in trying to f to shove in woke ideology. They are the ones who are responsible for race swaps, Akraboda, on God of War Ragnarok. And they are also responsible for a lot of things. Obviously, that, that uh, this is all dependent on if the developer takes it, but we all know, based on what King Belair said, that if they don't take it, there is a council mob coming for them. So... Pfft, kind of mafia tactics, really. Then again, the entire department or the entire gaming demographic developer of AAA studios is formed by a bunch of... 
Hmm. Fat blue haired woman who smells like cat piss. Yeah. Right. So, continuing. The film may, might be brought in near the start when the story is just scraps of paper pinned to a cork board, or they might arrive late in the day when most of the game is set in stone, but the actors are yet to record their lines. Yes. The fact is that they try to minimize. Oh my god, this this line is so offensive. Right? So you need to take it out. Yeah, basically that's what it is that they do. Obviously, they also seem to do some voice recording and game development, I think. Well, I'm basing this on what I read on their website. So, <laughs> but anyway. Moving on to the next bit. Maybe it's not about Sweet Baby Ink after all. It's uh, it's getting a lot. Oh wait, Aero Gamer, another hit piece. Spider-Man, Alan Woke, ridiculous fishing devs, speaks up in support of consultancy studio Sweet Baby Ink. Ah, yeah. So, what did this idiot say? Some of you don't seem to understand how narrative consulting on game works. But don't worry, I do. Yeah, we do too. Here is the thing, we don't solely blame Sweet Baby Ink for everything. We actually give it a big, big fault into this, a big blame in all of this shenanigans. But the fault also goes to the dev uh, developers who hire them and take their advice and implement them in the game and also pay them. So. I say 60 Sweet Baby Ink, 40 the, dev the devs, or 50 50, thereabouts. Give or take. I think that's about it, in which we gamers place the blame. This is why uh, games in which the developer had, or that we are aware or are aware of, that Sweet Baby Ink uh, had its grubby little snot filled hands and we tend to boycott it i'm sorry there's no way to know exactly the type of damage that sweet baby ink made on the game but we know they touched it so kind of like uh an analogy that i used in past kind of like when you're watching the walking dead a zombie bites you or a walker and you actually have to amputate the entire limb. Basically that. Anyway, before I continue, here's a trailer. Yeah, right. Anyway, so do you remember this article that I read or mentioned uh, yesterday from Kotaku? Sweet Baby Ink doesn't do what some gamers think it does, in which we all debunked in real time and uh, multiple people have done so again and again. And written by this actual retard over here called Alyssa. Well, um, you will think that um, it ends there. Well, <clears throat> no. No. We're dealing here with a certain type of people who are um, 
Well, they will not. I repeat, not stop their shenanigans. Right, so before I continue, let me just censor this because uh, she actually privated her account for a time. Right now, it's back to being active again. So, here it is what she did. I spoke to the team of Sweet Baby and infiltrated the Discord group rallying against them to try and paint a clearer picture of what the fuck is going on. She was actually triggered because nobody had their faces or their names linked to their profiles on Discord. Basically, maybe she allegedly wanted to dox them. But anyway, as you can see, she's uh, a bit of a racist, allegedly. Here, hi. You can't be... Well, I'm going to interrupt and give pauses here so I'm not uh, misquoted or taking clips out of contest. Be racist against... Yes, I'm doing this because of a certain reason, because that way people will notice it's changed. White people, thanks for tuning in. Yes, that's exactly what she said. And it got community noted. Uh, racism isn't limited to marginalize on minority racist ethnic groups. It is simply the unfair treatment of people who belong to a different specific race, which can in fact include white people. That then includes the definition and other similar definitions. Well, uh, that put a dent into her narrative, didn't it? She got really triggered. Um, this is a summary of the screenshot uh, of a, a screenshot that I found on Discord. But uh, after she got the private account, I, I and really returned. I got lazy and I didn't bother to actually search for it. But anyway, here is what she says. Uh, if you're a woman, a queer person, or a park, in this case, you've probably experienced harassment, probably more than once. Yeah, look at me, I have received that as a harassment way, way too often. Probably more than once, but when you have a life of the internet, it's like a summer babe singing a giant. Uh, uh, well, you provoked this. Because you're racist. Well, some people are paying the overwhelming of sure, but it goes. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly racist. Oh, it's just people attacking me. speak to me in person. Yeah, no, thank you. I tend to stay away from toxic people. Well, I won't be on the places I hang out. Yeah, we definitely don't like those places either. Oh, I want the people I love because they live online and speak in echo chambers. Isn't that exactly what you games journalists do? You even have a specific group to write hit pieces. We know we've seen it leaked. Allegedly. Imagine them on the subway. Who's in a coffee at your corner shop? Uh -huh. At the local soul. Oh, what is this bull? I be bull but okay. My dog called me yesterday to talk at NY Archway that he could hear the stress in my voice and ask what was up. When I explained to him, his response was, Ah, oh, okay, just shut your laptop. The internet is a real life. Yeah, he's right. Anyway, I'm gonna go hang some shelves and that I finally mount my TV and we can help improve things. <laughs> well, this is what happens when you don't have a man. Maybe you do, and he's a soy. I will also probably play Overwatch. Oh yes, Overwatch. The favorite game of the woke people. That's the only game they seem to play. This is why This is why you don't do woke games. Take a look at Suicide Squad. That, thing, that game was made for people like her. And instead of playing Suicide Squad, what is she playing? Overwatch. Because I'm a sicko. Twitter doesn't exist when I'm not on it. Yes, I went private because you're trying to report all my tweets. Cancel culture strikes again. SKS, SKS, SKS. Oh, maybe. Maybe that's what it means. Well, remember, cancel culture started with you people. We are just simply trying to use the same weapons against you. It's called fighting fire with fire. 
As in, you'll definitely need to have a few tweets reported, because it technically does break the terms of services of Twitter. Obviously, this wouldn't have happened back in the days before Twitter was um, a bit more freer, and it was in the hands of the woke crowd, because that's how long it stayed online. But anyway... I think you do deserve to eat some of the pills you've decided to dish out. But in this case, let me show you some of the things that she did not put on the article. And I definitely want the meme of one of these memes. Yeah. Here are some Discord screen grabs that don't make them to the piece, but that's more exactly what you expect. I don't see anything wrong. In fact, I want this meme. Could you... Please share it with us. Can you go back in there, save the meme in a higher resolution, at least more than this, so I can have it, please, uh, pretty please. Anyway, it says there are 600 genders, but two political positions. Mine and not fake. That's exactly what she is believing. Here's another one. The opinion of 10,000 men is of no value if none of them knows anything about the subject. Marcus Aurelius. He's right. We keep seeing here the king's urinalists and the woke mob trying to defend Sweet Baby Inc., trying to muddy the waters, trying to say that as a consultancy firm, they don't do any of those things you're accusing them of. In f despite, despite actually having that stuff written on their own goddamn fucking website. Ah, oh, well. It's just... the usual bullshit. But then again, it's, uh... You're dealing with here with a, a bunch of people who are really, really, really problematic. I'm not even going to show the one tweet from the Felix... Felix... Woman? Guy? Thing? Because it says abort all, and I'm not even going to say it. That's how sickening, sickening these people are. Well, on that, goddamn, fucking hell, have a great fucking night. And remember, fuck you, YouTube, fuck you.